Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as promised, to celebrate reaching 300,000 subscribers, I'm finally doing my most requested video, a room tour, so I hope you guys enjoy it. So this is my wardrobe and I got this from a website called Homes Direct 365 which is a horrible website. It literally took three months to come and it was only supposed to take three weeks and they kept on delaying it and delaying it but it is such a beautiful wardrobe. It's really pretty, it has all this shabby chic detail and it's got lots of space as well. So I'll just show you the inside of my wardrobe, I'm not going to do a full on wardrobe tour, I'll save that for another day but I've just got all of my kind of jackets and cardigans here plus a few like special tops that I keep separate and um, skirts and trousers uh, darker like wintry stuff as you can see there's not that much <laughs> um, and then I keep like my special going out um, really nice dresses here nice blouses and pastel tops and jackets and coats I also keep a box of like lush bath bombs and soaps and I just put them in this box and put them in the bottom of my wardrobe and it makes all of my clothes smell like lush so every time you open the wardrobe it just like smells amazing so I love my wardrobe because it has these really nice almost full length mirrors so I can always check my outfit and it just looks really pretty. So this is my dresser, this is my dressing table area and this is where I sit to film my videos so this is the place that you will see in the background of all my videos and I get so many questions asking me where I got my mirror and it's going to disappoint quite a lot of people to know that my dad actually made this for me for my 11th birthday and actually lights up all the bulbs like a dressing table mirror should. Yeah I really Really, really love this. I've redecorated my room three times since he made this mirror and he keeps on just painting it because I never want to get rid of it because I love it so much. It's really good for doing your makeup on. So this is my dressing table. I can't remember where it's from but I will find out and I will link it in the description box but it's really really nice. It's so big. Then I've got this mirror which I get loads of questions asking me where I got my mirror from and this was from a really pretty um, like gifty boutique shop in Muswell Hill so I don't know what brand it is or anything but honestly like with a lot of the stuff in my room like I just go and look in like really cute quirky shops and you do find like much nicer stuff than you do kind of going to chains so I would definitely say if you're looking for pretty stuff like this just make sure you go into those cute like unusual shops and you'll find really nice stuff like this but it's so pretty with the little raw iron leaves and roses I really really love this um, then here I just keep my Burberry scarf and I just love the box I just couldn't bear to throw it away because it's so pretty and it's so here monogrammed for FCB which is Freddy Cousin Brown and I actually do keep it in here because it just keeps the shape really well the material is really impressionable so it's really good to keep it rolled up in the box I just think it looks really nice as well because I love gold then I've got this thing here, which I don't really know what it is. I saw it in HomeSense, which is my favourite shop. So much of the stuff in my room, you'll soon find out, is from HomeSense. And it's basically the same company as TK Maxx, but it's all homewares. And everything is so unique and different and really affordable as well. So I found this, and I don't even know what it is. I think that you're supposed to actually turn it upside down and use it as a shelf and put it on the wall. And that's what I used to do. But then I decided to turn it around and put it on here and just have it as like a display. And I keep my my candles on here so I've got this one which is from Bath and Body Works in America and this is vanilla bean and then I've got this one from Boo Avenue which is white chiffon and this is like the signature smell of their store and I just think it smells really nice and then I've just got my fake flowers I've just got these and a little diptyque candle and then here I keep my makeup brushes and I got this little um jar from Wilkinson's it was literally like two or three pounds but I just thought the baby pink was really pretty and it'd be really good for holding brushes and in here I just keep a mix of my rose gold Zoeva brushes and also these white brushes which are white and rose gold from Fierce Face. Then I've got this little um, hand mirror which is kind of just for display but I do actually use it when I do my mascara just to like get really close. Then I've got this, which is another thing that I get so, so, so many questions asking me where I got it from. And I actually got this from HomeSense, again, that quirky shop where you just find random stuff. And I was looking for something just like this. And I found this and it was actually wood and I painted it this color to match the mirror. So in these two drawers, I just keep like my watches and my jewelry. And here I've got my Coco Mademoiselle body lotion, my Daisy perfume, another Daisy perfume. And then I just keep some pretty jewelry 
jewellery here. So this is from Aura Pearls. This is my Lynx bracelet. And then I've got a cute little ring dish that says 21 that my cousin got me for my 21st birthday. So I just put like a ring in there or some earrings. And then behind here, I've got these body lotions, which are Victoria's Secret body lotions. Then I've got this, which is a room spray from Boo Avenue. And it's the same scent as the candle. It just smells really nice, really fresh. And then I've got another room spray here from Laura Ashley, which is rhubarb and vanilla, which is quite a warm, sweet smell. So on my dressing table, I've got five drawers. So in the middle drawer, I keep like all my hair electricals. So I've got my hair dryer, my curlers. These are my new PhDs, they're so pretty. Um, and then I keep like a couple of hair products that I'm using currently. Then this drawer is my perfume drawer. So I keep most of my perfumes that I don't display. So I keep like the perfumes that I love, like Bonbon and Black Opium, but they don't necessarily like go with the whole design of the room and then in here I just keep hair stuff so like hair grips hair bobbles hair clips and then over here this is the drawer that I keep like my everyday makeup so I've got my makeup bag in here this is my Charlotte Tilbury makeup bag I keep my contact lenses in here as well and that's just like the drawer that I go to for every single day so I don't need to go into my main makeup drawer and then this drawer underneath is the drawer where I put some products that I don't use every day but I want to remember to try. And then underneath my dressing table I've got these stacked boxes which I also got from HomeSense. Literally everything nice in this room is from HomeSense. In the top one I keep things that I use for like blog post pictures so kind of like props basically. And then in the bottom two is where all like my DVDs and box sets are. So this is my chest of drawers where I keep all of my beauty products and this is from Dunelm and it's the Toulouse large four drawer chest and it's really really lovely it's got all of the pretty like shabby chic mouldings on but it's quite a lot of space which is really good so in my top drawer I keep all of my face products so I've got my foundations primers um face palettes bronzers blushes highlighters everything and then in the second drawer I have my eye makeup so I've got all of my palettes here and these drawers which have like mascara in and um, single eyeshadows and then my lipsticks as well so I've got all of my lipsticks lip glosses and lip liners and then in here I have lots of hair products so shampoos conditioners hair masks hair oils heat protecting sprays loads of fake tan in this section I have like every fake tan imaginable and over here I've got my nail varnishes so on top of my dressing table, I've got my two China ballerina dolls, and these were my great grandmas. And I've also just got a little cute trinket box here that I got from the garden centre. And then here I've got this really pretty photo frame, which is from Home Sense again. And I've got this really lovely old black and white photo of my granny when she was a little girl doing a lovely ballet pose because she was a ballerina. And then here I've got my acrylic makeup display, and I got this from Home Sense again. Literally, they have everything. So here I just kind of keep all of my pretty makeup like in the nicest packaging that I want to display so obviously I have a lot of YSL because it's beautiful gold packaging like the um, Rouge Volupte lipsticks are amazing and then these are YSL as well and then I have even more YSL products like the primer and lots of like Touche Eclats and stars and stuff because obviously the packaging is gorgeous. Um, I have a couple of Kiko products as well like the glowing potion and these contour sticks just because they were rose gold and really pretty um, and then I have this which is a really lovely number seven highlighter. Then over here I've got my Ciate nail varnish, a couple of Charlotte Tilbury bits and also the Zoeva rose gold and pink eye brushes. So my shelving unit, I don't actually know where this is from, but this is kind of one of those things that we've had in the family for ages and it goes from room to room and it ended up in mine. It's just a really nice wooden shelving unit with little hearts cut out and we painted it white for my bedroom. So here I've got my Chanel Coco Mademoiselle um, Eau de Toilette perfume, which I really, really love. Um, I've got this really gorgeous print which I ordered from Etsy so I'll link the seller down below she's got some really pretty illustrations and it's actually got um, gold glitter on and I just thought that was so cute then I've got this little um, Swarovski crystal thumper from Bambi and this is really really special to me then I have my Miss Dior perfume which is gorgeous and I just <laughs> love the bottle and also my Lizelle 
perfume which comes in a cute little box and honestly this is like such an amazing amazing smell and then up here I've got this really lovely like white and gold frame and inside is a photo of me and my dad when I was little then I've got this little tin sign which says born free but now I'm expensive and I have a Joe Malone candle here that's still new that I haven't opened yet which is mimosa and cardamom and then a little postcard that says be brave <laughs> So this is my bed and this is my cat Nelly and she thinks it's her bed, like honestly she's on here every single day and if ever she's on here and I'm not and then I come in and sit down she gives me evil looks because she thinks it's hers. These are my curtains and I got these online from JD Williams I think but I'll link them in the description box. So this is my bed and it's just this really pretty cream wrought iron bed with um, like nice posts and little hearts as well. So it's really pretty, but it's actually really bad and the slats break all the time. Um, then I've got my big Marie toy, which Coco got me for Christmas, and it's from the Disney store. So I've got then this throw, which is from Debenhams, and it's really pretty because it's just like pink ruffles. And then this really gorgeous blanket, which is actually from Primark, but I think it looks so expensive, and it was really, really cheap. So this bedding that I've got on is from VHS and this is the Holly Willoughby collection and it's really really beautiful. This cushion is from Primark and this one is from Debenhams as well. Then I've just got a couple of eye masks, I've got this one which is a Victoria's Secret one which matches my pyjamas and then this one which I love which I don't really wear, it's kind of more just for display but it's from Vue Avenue and it's this really pretty pink satin with diamonds. Now this is my cow and I have had this cow ever since I was a baby. I've literally grown up with cow and I will never ever ever throw him away. I actually singed him with a fairy light once as well so yeah. Cow has been been through it all haven't you then i have this which is a painting that i actually painted myself for my gcse art exam and i don't really know if it's good or not i think it's good but i feel like some people are going to think it's really bad but for me it was really good and i've been really proud of it so it's basically marilyn monroe looking in to a canary in a bird cage and it's to kind of signify how in her fame she felt trapped and under observation like a canary in a cage would feel so <laughs> that was the thinking behind that and I was really proud of it and I got an A so <laughs> Then over here I have this really gorgeous picture of a Chanel bag with pink peonies. So I got this from Etsy and it was actually a downloadable print so I paid for the download and then got it printed onto a canvas and I just love it. It's so so pretty. This is my bedside table and this is also from Dunelm and it's part of the same range as my chest of drawers. So this is the Toulouse um, small four drawer chest I think. On my bedside table I've got my lamp which is really pretty, it's from VHS. And on my bedside table, I kind of just keep a collection of notebooks. So um, underneath here, I've got my iPad. And then here I've got my Kate Spade planner, which is like my diary for everything. And then I just have a couple of really sweet notebooks. This one that says, it's a beautiful day. And then this one is the Coco Chanel quote, a girl should be two things, classy and fabulous. And then over here, I've just got my Starbucks and Benefit mug. Also this really pretty Benefit mug, which has like this gold detailing with the gold lipstick mark. And in here, I just keep some bedside things like this, um, this works deep sleep pillow spray. A pen, because I always need a pen. This is one from the um, Vogue 100 Century of Style exhibition at the National Portrait Gallery. And then also a little EOS Sweet Mint lip balm to pop on before bed. And then here I've just got a photo of me and my boyfriend when we were 15. And yeah, it's just something nice to look at before I go to sleep. <laughs> Moving on to my main chest of drawers. And this is where basically all of my clothes are apart from my wardrobe. Believe it or not, this used to be a completely normal, horrid looking Ikea chest of drawers. My dad has basically converted it into this really beautiful, like French looking shabby shoe dresser. My dad added a moulding all across the top just to make it look a bit more ornate and he also cut out all the sides around the corners to give them more like dimension because they were literally just completely flat and then he also ordered these mouldings to match the mouldings on my other furniture and he stuck them on, painted it and then we got these gorgeous handles and I think we got these handles from eBay so it's very very makeshift but the reason we had to do it is because it's really hard to find really pretty furniture like 
like this that's actually big. All of these shabby chic furniture is very petite and very small and I've got too many clothes so I needed the space saving features of the Ikea um, and then my dad made it all beautiful like this. So I'm just going to show you um, the insides of a couple of the drawers because I'm quite proud of my folding. It's because I worked at Hollister for three years so I'm quite a good folder. So this is my top drawer. Not everything is white and pink but yeah, I've got some brown, I've even got some black. And I'll just show you inside my pyjama drawer as well because um, a nice little trick, the same that I do in my wardrobe, is I keep lots of Lush products in here. So these are two soaps. Oh, this is another soap as well. And I've also got the, um, the Magic Wand <laughs> bubble bar. Because if you put it in with your pyjamas, it makes them smell so nice. So I've also got this little bag of scented beads from Boo Avenue and scented rose petals as well. And it just keeps all my pyjamas and nightwear smelling really, really nice. On top of my dressing table, I've got this box, which I got from HomeSense, <laughs> and this is just full of like my everyday cosmetics. Then I've got this, which is from Dunelm, and it's just like a nice white wooden magazine rack, but I kind of keep all my files in here. And I got these gorgeous um, like filing folders from HomeSense, <laughs> and I've got these nice marble ones, pink and marble, which is just amazing. These black ones that say Focus, and then these lovely pink ones that say file and forget which is the story of my life and then over here I have another one of my favourite, favourite things in my bedroom and it's this beautiful Beauty and the Beast snow globe from Disney back in like 1997 and you just shake it and it's got all sparkles in. Then up here I've got this really lovely painting that my granny got me of a ballerina just doing a stretch up on the bar with the Manhattan skyline. This is my light fitting and this was actually my mum's before but she gave it to me and it's this really pretty like shabby chic chandelier with these little glass droplets so it's really really lovely and then my favourite part of the room or one of my favourite parts of the room is my ceiling rose at the top because it just makes the ceiling look so amazing and you look up and you're like oh wow that's nice. <laughs> so this is the final part of my bedroom and it's my door and it's just a normal door really we painted it white and then we've got this really pretty coat hook which is a butterfly with little like diamonds and pink bits which is really gorgeous and I just hang my dressing gown up on here and I've got this dressing gown which I love from Ted Baker and then I've just got this little like crystal door handle and yeah, that's the door. So that's the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my room tour. Thank you so, so much for helping me reach 300,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week and I will see you next Monday in my video. Bye.